Grab your briefcase and brace yourselves to get down to business. Literally, we're going to learn all about the business career in The Sims 4, including both the investor and management branches, as well as the unique interactions and perks that the career brings, like actually investing. Now you can enter the career by using the careers panel or business section of your phone to find a job. And the first thing that you'll want to know is that the main skills required to progress in this career are logic and charisma. The ideal mood for training logic is being focused and the ideal mood for training charisma is being confident. Being in the ideal mood while training a skill will save you around 25% of the usual training time. And if you have them in a strong, very state, such as being very focused or very confident, then this will increase to save around 35% of the usual time. Also know that specific lot traits can help you to train these skills faster as well. Science Lair will impact the logic skill and Convivial will impact on the charisma skill, with these traits allowing you to save around 25% of the usual time it takes to train these skills. Now you will start out in the career as a mailroom technician, and the daily task until you specialise at rank 7 is to fill out reports. Yes, it sounds as exciting as it is, not very exciting, and it's actioned from the web section of a computer. Completing the daily task before each workday will boost your performance, as will having good relationships with co-workers, going to work with positive emotions, and changing the way your sim works to be work hard. This can be done by clicking on the two people on the top right of your sim's head icon while they are away at work. Working hard will increase work performance but reduce their fun need and potentially make your sim stressed. Your sim can also take it easy, lowering performance but increasing fun and potentially making your sim happy. And a third option is to socialise with co-workers, which lowers work performance but fills the social need and potentially lets them meet co-workers and make friends. Now at level 2 in the career, you'll unlock some new clothes as well as the make fun of corporate goons interaction, which is located in the funny and then jokes section. At level 3 in the career, you'll be able to imitate your boss, and this interaction is in the funny and then silly behaviour section, as well as unlock an additional outfit which is very frilly and low-key might be good if you want your sims to be transported back in time. It's a lot and I'm here for it. At rank 4 in the career, you can also brag about your job title from the small talk section of friendly interactions. And this can lead to various moodlets such as confident or even embarrassed ones, depending on how it goes. Then at level 5, you'll gain a new outfit as well as the interaction to offer career advice to others, located within the deep thoughts section of friendly interactions. At level 6, you'll unlock a tiny zen garden that's just so cute, and this object can have its emotional aura enabled to provide a focused moodlet to surrounding sims. Now to reach level 7 of the career, you'll need to have level 4 of both the charisma and the logic skills, and it's at rank 7 that you'll now need to choose to specialise in either the investor or the management branch. Let's take a look at the investor branch first. Upon entering, you'll be able to use the web section of a computer to research stocks. And this is the new daily task that you'll need to complete in order to boost your work performance. Doing this can provide your sim with a focused moodlet for a few hours. And on top of this, when you become an investor, you'll gain a stock ticker wall item and this can have its emotional aura enabled to provide a focused moodlet to nearby sims. Entering into the investor branch also allows your sim to actually invest in stocks and this might just be the biggest perk of the whole career. From the web section of a computer, you can put 1, 2 or 5,000 simoleons into stocks, and 48 hours later, you'll get a return on your investment. While you can make a lot of money from this and more than double your initial investment, you can also see an investment go bad and only get a few hundred simoleons back from your initial 5,000 simoleon investment. I also believe that if you research stocks first and invest while the focused moodlet from researching is active, then the chance of your investment going well is increased. Long term, investing should make you more profit than losses, so it can be really fun to make use of this. When you reach level 8 in the career, you'll gain some new clothing, as well as a pen desk 
set that can provide a focused emotional aura. You will also unlock the Give Fake Investment Tips interaction, which is a mischief interaction which provides the target sim with a small confidence moodlet. Now at level 9 in the career, you'll gain some framed magazine prints that can give off a confident emotional aura, and then when you reach the top of the career, you'll unlock a very sturdy looking desk that can again provide a confident emotional aura. You may be asking yourself, did I just hit the top of the career for a desk? And I'm here to tell you that yes. Yes, you did. You will need level 10 logic and level 8 charisma to reach the top of this branch as an angel investor. And here your sim will work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday and take home 3,248 simoleons per workday. Now for the management branch. Immediately upon entering this branch as a vice president, you'll unlock the make business course interaction. And this is the new daily task that you'll need to complete in order to boost your work performance. You'll have the option to make business calls from the business section of your phone from 8pm to 8am. And completing this has a chance to give your sim a confident plus two moodlet for four hours. Then at level seven in the career, you'll unlock a rather interesting desk throne or chair. It's very intense and can have a confident emotional aura enabled. It will also kind of make your sim look like a supervillain when they sit in it. At level 8 in the career, you'll unlock a new business outfit and a huge bookshelf. At level 9 in the career, you'll unlock a chair to match your intense desk throne. And finally, when you reach the top of the career at level 10, you'll unlock the same desk that you get from the top of the investor branch. You will need level 10 charisma and level 8 of the logic skill to reach the top of this career as a business tycoon. And here, your sim will work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday and take home 3,000 simoleons per workday. One thing to note is that at level 10 charisma, you'll gain the ability to negotiate a bonus from the business section of your phone. And this can lead to some rather nice amounts of cash being thrown your way. However, note that there is a decent cooldown on this. Also know that if you're not at the top of your career, then if this interaction is successful, you'll get a performance boost as well. Now just before finishing up, a few quick tips. For child sims looking to grow up and enter this career, taking on and completing either the whiz kid or social butterfly aspirations are ideal, as the reward traits for completing these will make training the logic skill or the charisma skill faster respectively. When it comes to adult aspirations, consider the fortune ones, being Mansion Baron and fabulously wealthy. Mansion Baron will see you naturally acquire a very expensive home and the reward trait, called Thrifty, will provide a 10% rebate on all build mode purchases each week, essentially making buy mode objects a little cheaper. Meanwhile, Fabulously Wealthy is about earning and having money in reserve, and the reward trait for this is called Shrewd. This gives your sim a deposit equal to 5% of their household funds each week. It really does further bring to life the idea of investing, which can then be compounded by the investing interaction from the investor branch of the business career. And yes, I've now said the word invest enough for my lifetime. While not essential, both of these aspirations and the reward traits that come with them can really complement the business career. Finally, consider the entrepreneurial reward trait, which costs 2,000 satisfaction points. This will essentially just passively boost work performance and allow you to get promotions faster. And while it really is useful for when you're playing through any career, I think the name of it just makes me feel it's even more suited to the business career. And with that, we're at the end. That's a complete guide to the business career in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.